So, Kimball, what are we drawing today? A piranha. A piranha? What is a piranha? It's like this animal that has really sharp teeth and it's a little, little fish. It's a little fish? Where does it live? Where does a piranha live? In the Amazon. In the Amazon, okay. The Amazon is exactly what now, Kimball? What is the Amazon? And where is the Amazon? <laughs> it's okay. It's the Amazon is a river, the largest river in the world, located in Brazil, South America. And the piranha is a fish that has sharp razor teeth, right? Yeah. You excited to draw? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Thanks for joining us on Hey Kids Let's Draw and we're drawing a piranha. All right, everybody, here we go. We're gonna start with a black marker for our piranha, and we're gonna start with a mean eye, okay? Let's make this piranha mean, okay, Kimball? Okay. So right about here, we're gonna do a piranha about this size, right about there. So here we go, we're gonna do... And I'm not using a Sharpie today, I'm gonna use kind of a fine tip marker so you can see it there. So is Kimball. All right. Now let's keep our paper right in the center, and we're gonna do. We're gonna make a kind of a half circle. Can you see that eye kind of get mean? Uh -huh. Okay. And let's do another circle inside. All right. Okay. So we have a mean eye, and let's do a. Add some expression. Roll my sleeve up here. Okay. So now we're gonna do the the nose, and it's gonna kind of bump up to the back. Here we go. So we'll start right here. All right, and we'll kind of do a frowny face with mean teeth. Here we go. I'm gonna bring this bottom jaw out in front of the first one here. Ooh, that's looking mean. Should we do some sharp teeth? Yeah. Piranhas are known for their teeth, huh? Like razor blade sharp teeth. Here we go. Let's do one on the bottom that kind of points up. One on the top that points down. One on the bottom that points up. One on the top that points down. Just a bunch of triangles. Bottom, top, bottom. How's that looking? Good. Cool. All right. So what's on top of the piranha here? A fin. A fin, right? Let's do a sharp fin. We'll do up. Up. And then we'll come back. Kind of like a shark. And then we'll do another one out. And then this one will come down. Okay, so that's the top of the fin. And we're gonna bring the back. Piranhas aren't really long fish, they're kind of circular. So we'll do a bump. Now let's bring the body over to this and then we'll do the big tail back here. So underneath this lip, let's bring it down to the belly. So we'll go down and stop. And what's on the bottom of here of the prana? What do they use to swim? Flippers. Flippers or fins, more fins, right? So kind of come up and we'll watch what I do. We're gonna draw a fin down. So. See that? Good. Perfect. And they have more than one fin, right? They have one behind here. So start this line and come down, not as far, and connect. So there's two flippers, two fins. 
All right, so now we're gonna connect this body up. We're not gonna touch yet. It's just gonna kind of follow. There we go. And now we're gonna connect the body with a tail. So watch what I do here. They have kind of a short tail. Good. Yours is looking mean, I like it. Here's the bottom tail. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go down, in, out. We're gonna make this a jaggedy tail. Down, in, out, and then we're gonna kind of curve it to connect. I'm gonna add one little fin back here. It's gonna go like a little triangle. Would you like to swim in the water with one of these guys? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Let's do a little nostril dot. So piranhas, they have another little fin right here, so we're gonna add it. I'm gonna go like that. Up, and just kind of let it float out there. How do piranhas and fish breathe underwater? They're gills. They're gills, so let's draw a big gill right here. Good. And then I'm gonna make this area connect. Watch this, we'll go down. This is just for fun. And then I'm gonna connect this to the back of the tail. Just for fun. And then the bottom of the lip, we're gonna connect to this line. So we're gonna go start of the lip and follow the shape of the lip and just connect it to that line. Good, looks good. And to make this face look really frowny and mean, I'm just gonna add a little expression line around the bottom of that mouth. Okay, and let's do, I don't know, let's do a couple of marks to add some interest. These are kind of like long raindrops. Okay, I'm gonna do a circle in the eye and leave the highlight. And then we can start coloring this guy. Good, yours looks great. On this fin, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of follow the shape of the inside, but just a little smaller. And same thing with this tail. Kind of, we'll color that in. Awesome. Should we do some bubbles? Yeah. To make it look like it's underwater? Yeah. Kind of some bubbles that float off. All right, we'll do a little circle here. A little circle here. Come over to the right. Bubbles never go in a straight line, so you kind of have to make them go zigzag up. Make them go smaller and smaller as they go to the top. Draw the reflection highlight of the bubble. Cool. All right, we have our outline of the piranha. Should we color this thing? Yeah. Okay, fast forward, everybody.